Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Koba. A popular sweet treat made from rice, peanuts, and sugar, wrapped in banana leaves. Koba, also known as Koba Ak Pwa, or Koba Cassava, is a traditional sweet treat that originates from Haiti, a country in the Caribbean. It is made from simple ingredients like cassava, yucca, flour, peanuts, sugar, and often flavored with vanilla or spices. The mixture is typically wrapped in banana leaves and then steamed or baked. Here's a basic overview of the process of making koba. Ingredients. Cassava flour. Peanuts. Sugar. Water. Vanilla extract or other flavorings, optional. Banana leaves, for wrapping. Instructions. Prepare the banana leaves by cutting them into square or rectangular pieces, large enough to wrap the koba mixture. Roast the peanuts until they are lightly browned and fragrant. Allow them to cool, then crush or chop them into smaller pieces. These crushed peanuts will be added to the koba mixture for texture and flavor. In a mixing bowl, combine cassava flour, crushed peanuts, and sugar. The proportions can vary depending on taste preferences, but a typical ratio might be around two parts cassava flour to one part peanuts and sugar. Gradually add water to the mixture, stirring continuously until a thick batter-like consistency is achieved. If desired, you can also add vanilla extract or other flavorings at this stage. Take a piece of banana leaf and gently heat it over an open flame to soften it slightly. This makes it easier to work with and prevents it from tearing. Place a portion of the koba mixture onto the softened banana leaf and shape it into a rectangular or cylindrical form. Fold the banana leaf over the koba mixture to cover it completely, much like wrapping a present. You can use twine or banana leaf strips to tie the ends securely. Steam or bake the wrapped koba until it's cooked through. Steaming might take around 30 to 45 minutes, while baking could take a similar amount of time at a moderate temperature. Once cooked, carefully unwrap the banana leaves from the koba. Allow the koba to cool before slicing and serving. It can be enjoyed as a sweet snack or dessert. Koba is not only delicious but also holds cultural significance in Haiti. It's often enjoyed during celebrations, gatherings, and special occasions. The combination of cassava, peanuts, and sugar creates a unique flavor and texture that's beloved by many. Mofogasi. A type of savory pancake made from rice flour and typically filled with vegetables, meat, or seafood. Mofogasi. Based on your description, I can offer you a basic recipe for making mofogasi, a savory rice flour pancake filled with various ingredients. Keep in mind that this recipe might need to be adjusted based on your taste preferences and the availability of ingredients. Here's a simple version to get you started. Ingredients. For the pancake batter. 2 cups rice flour. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 half teaspoon turmeric powder, for color. 2 cups water, adjust as needed. Vegetable oil for cooking. For the filling, you can choose one or a combination. Chopped cooked vegetables, carrots, cabbage, bell peppers, etc. Cooked and diced meat, chicken, beef, pork, etc. Seafood, shrimp, squid, etc. Cleaned and chopped. Chopped onions and scallions. Chopped fresh herbs, coriander, parsley, etc. Instructions. Prepare the pancake batter. In a mixing bowl, combine the rice flour, salt, and turmeric powder. Gradually add water while whisking to create a smooth batter. The consistency should be similar to pancake batter. Adjust the water as needed. Let the batter rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. This helps the rice flour hydrate and improves the texture of the pancakes. Prepare the filling. While the batter is resting, prepare your desired fillings. Cook and chop the vegetables, meat, seafood, onions, scallions, and herbs as needed. You can season the fillings with salt, pepper, and any preferred spices. Cook the pancakes. Heat a non-stick skillet or frying pan over medium heat. Add a little vegetable oil and spread it evenly across the pan's surface. Give the rested batter a quick stir. Pour a ladleful of batter into the center of the pan and immediately tilt the pan in a circular motion to spread the batter thinly and evenly. Add the fillings. Quickly add a portion of your chosen fillings onto one half of the pancake. Be careful not to overfill, as it might make it difficult to fold. Fold and cook. Once the batter starts to set and the bottom is lightly golden, carefully fold the other half of the pancake over the fillings to create a half-moon shape. Press gently with a spatula to help the pancake hold its shape. 
Cook for another 2 to 3 minutes until both sides are golden brown and crispy. Serve. Transfer the cooked mofogasi to a serving plate. Repeat the process with the remaining batter and fillings. Enjoy. Serve the mofogasi warm, with your favorite dipping sauce or chutney on the side. Sambos. Similar to samosas, these are pastry pockets filled with ingredients like vegetables, meat, or fish. Sambos, or samosas, which are popular savory pastries filled with various ingredients and commonly enjoyed in many parts of the world. Samosas are especially popular in South Asian cuisine. Here's a basic recipe for making vegetable-filled samosas. Ingredients. For the pastry dough, 2 cups all-purpose flour, 1 quarter cup vegetable oil, 1 half teaspoon salt, water, as needed. For the filling, 2 cups boiled and diced potatoes, 1 cup cooked and mixed vegetables, peas, carrots, corn, etc. 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon grated ginger, 1 teaspoon garam masala, 1 half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 half teaspoon red chili powder, adjust to taste, salt, to taste, chopped cilantro, coriander, leaves, oil, for frying. Instructions. Prepare the pastry dough. In a mixing bowl, combine the all-purpose flour, salt, and vegetable oil. Gradually add water and knead to form a smooth and firm dough. Cover it with a damp cloth and let it rest for at least 30 minutes. Prepare the filling. Heat a little oil in a pan and add cumin seeds. Once they sizzle, add grated ginger and saute for a minute. Add turmeric powder, red chili powder, and garam masala. Mix well. Add the boiled and diced potatoes and cooked mixed vegetables. Stir to combine. Add salt to taste and chop cilantro leaves. Mix the filling well and let it cool. Assemble the samosas. Divide the rested dough into small equal-sized balls. Roll out each ball into a thin oval shape, similar to a small tortilla. Cut the oval in half to form two semicircles. Take one semicircle and fold it into a cone shape, sealing the edge by applying a little water on the edges. Fill the cone with the prepared filling. Seal the open edge of the cone to form a triangular pastry pocket. Ensure that the edges are sealed well. Fry the samosas. Heat oil in a deep frying pan over medium heat. Once the oil is hot, gently slide in the samosas, a few at a time. Fry until they turn golden brown and crisp on all sides. Remove with a slotted spoon and place them on a paper towel lined plate to drain excess oil. Serve. Serve the freshly fried samosas with chutney, yogurt, or your favorite dipping sauce. Samosas are versatile and can be filled with a variety of ingredients, including meat, lentils, and more. This basic recipe should give you an idea of how to make vegetable-filled samosas, but feel free to customize the fillings and seasonings according to your preferences. Brochettes. Skewers of grilled meat or seafood, often marinated and seasoned with local spices. Brochettes. Typically refer to skewered and grilled or roasted pieces of meat, seafood, or vegetables. They are popular in various cuisines and can be served as appetizers, main dishes, or even party snacks. Here's a simple recipe for making meat brochettes. Ingredients. For the marinade. 1 quarter cup olive oil. 2 tablespoons soy sauce. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 teaspoon paprika. 1 teaspoon dried oregano. Salt and pepper to taste. For the brochettes. 1 pound, 450 g, boneless meat, chicken, beef, pork, cut into 1 inch cubes. Bell peppers, onions, cherry tomatoes, or other desired vegetables, cut into similar sized pieces. Wooden or metal skewers, if using wooden skewers, soak them in water for about 30 minutes before using. Instructions. Prepare the marinade. In a bowl, whisk together the olive oil, soy sauce, minced garlic, paprika, dried oregano, salt, and pepper to create the marinade. Marinate the meat. Place the meat cubes in a resealable plastic bag or a bowl. Pour the marinade over the meat, making sure all pieces are well coated. Seal the bag or cover the bowl and refrigerate for at least one hour, preferably longer, up to overnight, to allow the flavors to develop. Assemble the brochettes. If using wooden skewers, make sure they have been soaked in water for about 30 minutes to prevent them from burning during grilling. Thread the marinated meat cubes onto the skewers, alternating with the vegetable pieces. Grill or cook the brochettes. Preheat a grill or grill pan to medium-high heat. Lightly oil the grill grates to prevent sticking. Place the assembled brochettes on the grill and cook for about 8 to 10 minutes, turning occasionally to cook all sides. 
Cooking times may vary based on the type of meat and desired doneness. Check doneness. To check if the meat is cooked to your desired level, you can cut into a piece and ensure there is no pinkness or use a meat thermometer to ensure it reaches a safe internal temperature. Serve. Once the brochettes are cooked through and have a nice grilled appearance, remove them from the grill. Serve the brochettes hot, garnished with fresh herbs if desired. Kakapizan. Fried or roasted small fish, often enjoyed as a quick snack. Kakapizan. It sounds like a delicious fried or roasted small fish snack. Here's a general recipe for preparing such a dish. Ingredients. Small fish, such as sardines, anchovies, smelt, or similar, cleaned and gutted. Salt, to taste. Pepper, to taste. Flour, for coating, optional. Cooking oil, for frying or roasting. Lemon wedges or dipping sauce, for serving, optional. Instructions. Preparation. Ensure the small fish are properly cleaned and gutted. You can leave the heads on or remove them based on your preference. Seasoning. Season the cleaned fish with salt and pepper. You can also use any other desired seasonings or spices to enhance the flavor. Coating, optional. If you prefer a slightly crispy texture, you can coat the fish lightly in flour before cooking. This step is optional. Frying. Heat cooking oil in a frying pan over medium heat. Once the oil is hot, carefully add the seasoned or coated fish to the pan. Make sure not to overcrowd the pan. Cook the fish in batches if needed. Fry the fish for a few minutes on each side until they are golden brown and crispy. The cooking time will depend on the size of the fish. Remove them from the oil and place them on a paper towel lined plate to absorb excess oil. Roasting. Alternatively, you can roast the seasoned fish in an oven. Preheat the oven to a medium high temperature, around 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. Place the fish on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. You can brush them with a little oil to prevent sticking. Roast the fish for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they are cooked through and crispy. Serving. Serve the kakapizan as a snack or appetizer, accompanied by lemon wedges for squeezing or a dipping sauce of your choice. Fresh herbs or a sprinkle of additional spices can also be used for garnishing. Remember that cooking times may vary depending on the size of the fish and the cooking method you choose. Always ensure the fish is cooked through and has a nice crispy texture before serving.